Hello YouTube, how's it going? Theo Bean here. Today we're going to be talking about how you can make a Leer in Fire Emblem Engage super OP in the early game. So let's get straight into it. This does only require three steps to do. As far as I'm concerned, it may require you to be Dragon Child or Divine Dragon class, but I don't believe that is the case. And this does also have to be done before Chapter 9. I, for the sake of spoilers, I won't say why, but just have this done before chapter 9 that shouldn't be a problem though since you have a ton of time in order to do this for the first step the first thing you're going to need to do is to acquire the skill plus 15 avoid through mars ring this is going to be the hardest thing to do as it does require a thousand sp and sp can take a little bit of time to acquire use engage with marth and alir in battles to acquire sp as fast as possible you can also do this by kind of slowing down how you progress through the story by just doing some side quests here and there. Just make sure that you bond the two when using the ring. As you go through different fights, uh, you will acquire SP through battle and defeating enemies. The second step is going to be to max the Liberation Sword, which is unique to Alir, 2 plus 5. This requires 250 iron, 10 steel, 3 silver, and 4,300 gold. This is actually not too bad to do in the easy game since it, these items are pretty easy to afford and don't take too long to acquire. Uh, the gold is going to be the hardest thing to acquire in the game, but in the early game that should not be a problem. A, a couple of the first few chapters do give you some gold as rewards, so you should be able to afford it. Getting medals is not as hard as it might sound as well. Uh, the best way to do acquire medals is to just make sure that you do have dogs in your stable in the Somnial. As you go through different missions, return to the Somnial, you will see they will have dug up different metals. You can acquire silver, steel, and iron just by doing this method over time, and it's pretty easy to acquire, especially just through doing missions and side missions as well. Finally, the last thing you need to do is to use the Marth engraving on your plus 5 liberation. You can do this before is at a plus 5, and this is actually the easiest step since it only costs 100 bond fragments in order to do. You can do this also as soon as you get the sword, which is acquired right in the beginning, right after chapter 2. Just be warned, you won't be able to give any other sword this engraving, but that should be okay. The reason we're giving the liberation this engraving is because that this engraving does give us plus 5 to our void, plus 5 to our dodge, as well as 1 to might, 10 to hit, and 10 to crit. This engraving overall is extremely strong. So the reason why this works is because the vast majority of missions in the game will be fails if Valir dies. With this strategy, you're increasing Valir's evasion in combat and thus avoiding amount of times he will take damage when you go in for trades and you might not necessarily be able to break your opponent. This then increases his survivability and prevents him from dying, thus preventing you to either use your rewind charges or from a game over. Throughout my playthrough, no one dodged more attacks than Valir himself. This made it easy for him to go straight into the front lines and attack enemies as a divine dragon and be able to clear enemies out with ease with little the risk of being hit or being countered. This helped me during my playthrough by kind of making him over leveled and insanely strong. Alir is definitely an S tier character and it's easy to see why considering your Alir will be the main character of the game. But with this strategy this really helps kind of later on in the mid and late game. By just making him really strong early on, this just kind of helps him or her snowball as you play through to make this absolute monster of a unit. That is going to be it for the video. Thank you so much, guys. If this helped you out, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. greatly helps me out. I will be making some more Fire Emblem Engage content here in the near future as well. So if you'd like to see that, please stick around for more. Until the next one, I will see you guys. Have a good one. Peace and deuces.